My name is Paloma, my husband Eliasar, and then baby Eli. Yeah, so he's a micro preemie. He was born at 22 weeks. He weighed one pound, three ounces. I actually had an ultrasound the day before everything appeared normal. Um, and then later that night, my water broke. I came to the hospital and we tried to delay it as much as possible because he was only 22 weeks. But I eventually I went into labor. His survival rate was minimal. When I first came in, they told me he was not viable. Um, they said viability was at 24 weeks. So they said that if he were to survive, um, there was probably going to be a lot of consequences. They took baby Eli away. Uh, they took my husband. Once Eli was stable, they came back. A few hours later, I was taken to see Eli. I was taken to see him. Um, and so he stayed in the NICU for four months. To be honest, the first couple of months, I was afraid to even touch him, you know? Yeah, prior to him being in the NICU, I had never even heard of a micro preemie diaper. And they were this big and we still had to fold it down. That's just how small he was. So I remember when we finally reached a preemie diaper, to me that was a big deal because he was, you know, catching up to what m most people are used to. Yeah, I think the nurses, Marcia and Miss Connie, they were, you know, they make kind of part of the family, you know, the way they treat him. So I'm very grateful that it was part of his life, you know. Uh, he yeah. doesn't sit still now. He loves to climb. Uh, it's a lot of work. He has a lot of energy. So much energy. Um, he loves to go to the park. He loves to play in the water. I just want to say thank you to, uh, to the hospital for everything. Yeah, I think that they were, throughout the entire process, I feel that we received a lot of support. So we're so thankful for that.